Today, we'll be taking on the Gauntlet Challenge with Jared Goff, Dan Campbell, Jamal Williams, and the Detroit Lions. Let's get it. I know this is MMG's favorite team as well, so let's go and let's bite some kneecaps. What a great comeback season for the Lions. They started off 4-7 and seven in the middle of the season and turned it around to finish 9-8. and eight, Only to barely just miss the playoffs. And in their divisional seeding, they finished second behind the Vikings and ahead of the Packers. That week 17 game was wild, crazy, and awesome. And it was cool to see the potential changing of the guard in that position. It is only up from here for the Detroit Lions, I believe. They will have the sixth overall pick in this year's NFL draft as a result of trading Matthew Stafford to the Rams and getting Jared Goff in return. Now looking back, it was a good deal for both teams, I believe, because the Rams won a Super Bowl last year, and Jared Goff is a stable, good starting quarterback. And they can use the draft pick to get a franchise player. They also have about $16 million in cap space next year, so they can use that to bring in a free agent if they want to bolster up the short-term prospects of the team. They can even use the pick to pick up a quarterback that they can use in the next couple years. Or they could even trade back a bit and get more draft capital to bolster up the team in the long run with younger players. They have a couple free agents to name a few, like DJ Chark, Jamal Williams, Alex Anzalone. Now these three guys, would you guys like to see them back with Detroit, or are you guys content with letting them walk? Let us know in the comments below. Now I can't say that I'm surprised by Jared Goff's resurgence this year, as he has showcased that he can take a team to the Super Bowl. Granted, it was under Sean McVay and that stout team that they have in Los Angeles. But in year two, the foundation that they built from year one carried over and allowed them to achieve the level that they achieved this year. Now Dan Campbell was a home run hire for the Detroit Lions a few years ago. He fits the culture of the Lions so well as he played for the team back in the day. It will be interesting to see how the NFC North will pan out next year because the Green Bay Packers will still retain their coach but will most likely lose their Hall of Fame quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. The Vikings, it's questionable if they can sustain the level of play that they had this year and the Bears are resurging and only up for them as well as they got a young team and are rebuilding. Detroit Lions fans, what would you like to see your team do in terms of the draft? What position? Potentially quarterback, cornerback, defensive tackle, tight end, or even linebacker? Let us know in the comments below. Are there any particular draft prospects this year that you guys are very high on and really want your team to draft? The Detroit Lions made it to level 29 in the gauntlet challenge this time. That's a very good result for any team. It will be very exciting to see how the Lions do as they have a bright future ahead. Let us know in the comments who you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.